Horace Greeley was born in Amherst, New Hampshire in 1811 to a financially struggling family. At age 20, Greeley left home to pursue a new life in New York City. He started out as an editor for the New Yorker and eventually founded the New York Tribune in 1841. 31 years later, in 1872, Horace Greeley passed away in the state of New York. Horace Greeley was seen mostly as an egalitarian and an idealist. Major criticisms of American society voiced by Greeley include his disapproval of the formation of monopolies by companies, the use of capital punishment, slavery, the Mexican-American War, and the Kansas-Nebraska Act, which ended the Missouri Compromise by giving the territories of Kansas and Nebraska over to settlers who could determine whether or not they wished for their territory to become a slaveholding state by way of popular sovereignty. Additionally, Greeley criticized the South's rebellion against the Union. Conversely, Horace Greeley proved his idealistic reputation by investing in the four-year utopian community in Red Banks, New Jersey. Greeley also advocated the homestead principle, which intended to distribute free government land to settlers, and favored Abraham Lincoln in the election for his first term due to Lincoln's matching views on slavery. Horace Greeley's main method of improving American life via his idea of social reform was the utilization of his company, the New York Tribune. This is a photo of the Tribune building in the mid-1800s. Greeley's company put out more than just news, as space was allotted for pieces on politics, social reform, as well as literary and intellectual endeavors. The New York Tribune was Greeley's vehicle for promoting his ideals. This graph best represents Horace Greeley's success with promoting his ideals for reform. He starts out as a young man in New York City just trying to find his way. However, the promotion of his ideals peaks when the popular New York Tribune is created, giving Greeley the ability to influence citizens of New York and beyond on a constant basis. Towards the end of his life, Greeley becomes increasingly unpopular and disrespected, allowing him little success in the promotion of his ideals for reform. I will talk about this more in the next slide. In order to manifest his ideals for reform, Greeley runs for office. In 1872, he gets elected by the liberal Republicans to oppose Ulysses S. Grant in the election. This point in history becomes a major factor in Greeley's decrease in prominence. Horace Greeley gets crushed in the election due to his unpopularity with the people. Many found him to be overly eccentric and very odd in his idealistic thinking. Additionally, Greeley was widely ridiculed for supporting Abraham Lincoln in his first term, and neglecting to do so in Lincoln's renomination of 1864. Although Greeley was very disrespected and arguably rejected toward the end of his life, time has rewarded Horace Greeley with an increase in respect due to his adamant support of anti-slavery, a positive social reform in the United States of America.